The Pirates only face like the third best offense of baseball coming up. The hot one of the hottest teams in baseball. It's the Brewers series coming up. Oh boy. Let's let's preview this. Let's talk about this a little bit. Uh this team, so much for this retooling. <laughs> so much for well, the Brewers might not be the top team anymore. They uh they're coming out hot. And let's just say this. Kristen Yelich, if you weren't sure if he's back, oh, he's back, back. He's back, back. He's MVP type back, back. Yeah, uh, Yelich is back, but good news for the Pirates. Um, I mean, he's on the IL. Uh, I don't know. Is he is he coming? Is he coming um, back sure. here soon? But he hasn't played since April 12th. So the 10 day IL, he's like due to come off today. Um, so I don't know if he's ready or not, but Yelich has, yes, he started, he started off really, really nicely, but, um, he has been injured, but he could be back. To, like he's, he's eligible to come off the IL this series. So you kind of hope that you avoid Christian Yelich. Cause yeah, he's been, he's been pretty good, but yeah, I mean the whole team and, and there's a lot of players performing really well. like William Contreras having a great start to the year. Willie Adamas, a uh, really good start. Uh, Bryce Torring, a good start. Um, the Start rookie the list. I mean, Jackson Churio has been, been fine. I mean, he's 20 years old, but I mean, he's, he's been playing better than any other pirates, young player. <laughs> um, that's true. So he's, he's been doing well pitching wise. Uh, Peralta has just been outstanding. Uh, pirates face him on Wednesday. Uh, they get, they get Peralta, but the rest, I think if there's a thing to like, if you're looking for like a weak point here, it's still that rotation. Colin Ray. I mean, you're looking at the Pirates, the, the starting pitchers here, right? Joe Ross, which is not an inspiring guy. He's going to be starting today. Um, Wade Miley starting on Tuesday. Again, very uninspiring. Um, Peralta on Wednesday, but then DL Hall on, on Thursday uh, scheduled to, to go. So, Excuse me. although he's also on the is he on the IL too? No, he's not. He just got. Wait, no. DL Hall is was just placed on the IL two days ago. So, oh, so not DL Hall. So probably maybe Colin Ray, maybe a a call up, maybe a bullpen game. But it's just like <clears throat> the outside Peralta. This pitching staff is not that great. So if you're looking for a team for the bats to kind of wake up against. You're hoping, you're hoping that this is it. Like Murphy says here, it sounds like if you're going to get things going, like outside Peralta, these guys are very hittable. Yeah, so I'll, I'll definitely say that. Um, and again, like Joe Ross, that was the one where like the Brewers just signed him to like a major league deal. That's interesting for all the opposite reasons. But uh, I mean, he's pitched okay so far. Um, you know, Colin Ray has pitched okay so far. Um, but yeah, like you said, like Freddie Peralta, everything you talk about with Jared Jones, like Freddie Peralta is, he's also a vet, but like Freddie Peralta is just striking out everybody. Like, he, like, and you're impressed with Jared Jones. That's who Freddie Peralta is right now. So that's going to be a tough game. That's absolutely going to be a tough game. But just like you said, it's, it's the other games around it where, this team needs to wake up. Like this team can't let the Brewers bull or rotation look better than what they are because they're just giving them strikeouts and outs and such. Right. Uh, like Joe Ross. And again, this game is uh, Jared Jones is pitching today and it is Joe Ross. Like that's a game you have to capitalize on. Um, it's baseball. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, you've, you've got to win your, your games where your pitcher is like significantly better than the other. Right, and, right, right. And that's today. <laughs> like the, the Pirates need to go out there and win today. And like on the opposite end, you know, again, it is baseball. I mean, it can happen, but like, yeah, like Wednesday is going to be a tough, tough game. Like that's probably one you're not winning. So there's three others outside of it. And you have to look at those. If you want to split this series, you got to win two of those three. Um, yeah, you got to get to the pitching. You got to. I, I just want to start seeing a little bit more aggressiveness, which again, like we talked about, like we've seen. It happened on Saturday and Sunday. They've been a little more aggressive than normal. Hasn't really carried over 
maybe this is where it does it. So, and certainly worse pitching than that they saw this past weekend also. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely th- this Milwaukee Brewers team. They're, they're, they're playing good baseball. There's some guys playing playing pretty well, but they're still not they're not scary, right? They're they're in first place. They're they're playing well, but there's nothing that jumps out of out at you about this team outside Peralta where you're like, yeah, this this team's a problem. You're, you're not saying that about these guys. But we also just got swept by a team that started Pablo Lopez, uh, Pablo Reyes at first base and uh and, and uh Tyler Heineman at the H yesterday. So Yeah, and Rob Ref Snyder. All Rob weekend. Ref Snyder just dropping just bombs everywhere. Killed the Pirates this weekend. <laughs> so, yeah, so that you know, watch something. out. So watch out for you know Oliver Dunn this weekend. This uh this week. Oliver Dunn, he's uh he's the one to watch out for. Uh what I'll say too, like you know, you're talking about like the matchups and such, right? I mean, Jared Jones is pitching. Bailey Falter has actually pitched quite effectively. You know, I'm not writing him off by any means. The one matchup is like the one you fear is Peralta on Wednesday, and that's Quinn Priester as well. So it, it's one of those things. I'm I'm sorry, I'm gonna knock on you, Quinn Priester, and talk this way, but like at least you're not wasting maybe a Jared Jones just start against Peralta if you lose that one. You know, like like their weaknesses, you know, like the pitching that's lining up, and then of course Mitch Kello will pitch, you know, game four, I anticipate here. Uh, you know, like like you have our better pitchers going up, so we could like the games that you need to capitalize. We're being given a chance here by this our starting pitching. Um, so again, like it really comes down to like we're talking about the bats need to come alive uh, because the matchups look better on paper for those outside three games. Yeah, um, if this is this is the perfect opportunity for the bats to wake up. Joe Ross tonight with Jared Jones on the hill. Jared Jones should be fresh. He should be, he should, there should be plenty of bullets in that tank. Uh, he only threw 59 pitches last time out. Let's, uh, let's get it done tonight. What do you think? What do you think the pitch count is for Jared Jones tonight? Uh, you know what? I bet he goes, uh, 85, 85. Okay. Pitch count. He got, he got an w. extra day of rest in there. Like, yeah, he's, he's good to go. Jared Jones going to 85 tonight. We're gonna we're gonna eat some W's, Jim. Yep. Um, yeah, uh, this is I don't want to say it's gonna be a fun series. It could be if the pirates want to make it one. Um, but it's definitely a big one. And finally, in division, like you talk about in division series coming up here. Uh the Brewers are definitely the top. And if the Pirates want to get back into this, it's gonna kind of start right now. So yeah, four game series against the Brewers. They play every game this week, no days off. So uh, let's let's have some interesting baseball. Let's get some sandwiches going, man. It's been a whole week since we've given out any sandwich. Yep, seven games this week means seven post games, which means seven chances for sandwiches. Let's go. 